Hello guys and welcome to the Cesar video blog. Today we will talk about a new repair. As you know we are trying to repair a lot of electronics. Some of them are vintage, some of them are tube based, some of them are silicon based, some are modern, some are not. For today we have a good score from eBay and I would like to present to you the Optonica let's see Optonica cassette deck player this guy here I just took it out of the box and we will see if it's powering on I know because I'm making a voiceover because the environment was so noisy i have some repairs nearby and all the noise were captured and i had nothing else to do than to wait for the workers to finish the job and for me to uh, start recording over so excuse me for this I usually like to do it it's unscripted as you know uh, no scripts no fake uh, stuff just me having fun uh, fixing stuff uh, with you guys together so for this reason I keep this uh, oh it's uh, head down oh, all the electrons will fall out for sure uh, let's see if it will power on Yep, there is a problem, small one, fixable one. Let's make some room on the table and take the cover off. At this point in time, we will, I was just uh, cleaning it outside, uh, it's dusty, I just took it over, it's the first look inside. This is what I do with most of the devices. I take them and because I have no, not I do not have a lot of space, and the devices are coming from places I don't know and I don't trust usually. I have to inspect them and make sure I don't bring some nasty pests into my house. So I have to clean them fairly and after that store them. So this device it's nice and clean and from what we see it's the vintage old way of uh, construction and PCB look at the even the traces are marked over the PCB like I like they are on top on like hard on the back side yeah so the component side at least it, it, it's a guide for you for for servicing it's made with the servicing in mind you know they are not erasing the data from the components they are not hiding the components what they are doing they are proud of what they are making there they are proud someone worked here a human being Japanese man or a woman worked on this unit and it was proud really proud to do this uh, this work yeah this work yeah yeah there this work yeah so someone took proud on his work here it's a lot of wire glooming it's a lot of handmade stuff it's a lot of assembly had done by hand with uh, with respect for the client and customer and guess what after so many years it still works yeah so uh, 
we will uh, have a look and see yeah. this is the device yeah so we have this it was produced from 77 until 79 so three years in a line um, the parts are still available to service this it was made serviceable with service in mind so list price was 180 euro uh, 180 dollars i'm sorry um, and that was a lot of money if, if we make the calculations there are a lot of money for today there there is a site where you can equivalent but diets let you guys figure it out so futures it has two heads analog three digit tape counter see this is it's mechanical mechanical switching resettable switching counter really nice manual tape selection they are proud of this unit yeah they are really proud has a lot of futures for that era uh, that's the whole history of uh, this device yeah a lot of a lot of stuff made in Japan so let's back and watch uh, what's inside and see so what we do here we discover that uh, the front door has a problem I will clean some contacts I know for sure that the um, bumpy boom matter was a reaction caused by the uh, one of the switches i will show it uh, to you soon enough when it will be available in the clip again so just uh, for a second as i was saying i would like for you guys to tell me in how many devices do you find uh, that you can buy today even hi-fi you can find Nichicon capacitors. Yeah. Nichicon and high quality capacitors. I doubt. I doubt that we will find them. I never find. Other than vintage stuff where the quality were was important. I never find them in other places. I find them where I put them. When I service, I buy the best quality I can buy. You know, depends on the stuff that I repair. The, it could be 85 or 105 uh, centigrade. Uh, for the capacitors, I prefer Nichicon or Nikon Chemicon. Same. Yeah. And not the fake ones from China so nichicon high quality oscillator taps and everything it's there you know everything nothing is erased nothing everything is there see capacitors transistors everything is there everything mm, ic's are not erased low pass filters not erased transformers everything it has original markings which is nice and the traces that are made on top of the of the board for easy to see where going what what's going where without to take out the board because with so many wires we always risk to deteriorate them but this was the culprit for the view meter acting like crazy but the power test that's what we can do today so the belt looks okay uh, the cups looks they are 85 degrees which is more than okay in this case and um, look like they were changed some time ago maybe by some service 
guy I don't know it looks like this uh, let's see maybe we have to find a better a better view but at least here on the tape side on the tape layer side looks like this were maybe just resoldered I don't know for sure yet so I see different type of capacitors remember guys it's what you see now it's what I saw when I took it over it's the same it's the same we look at the same uh, stuff I did not change anything in it I did not fix anything it's how it is from the eBay so we clean the stuff this was the guy that was generating the problem I clean and spray cleaner on uh, all the contacts that I can find and reach I'm sorry and the problem that is not playing it's not taking up the tape on the taking up a reel is because of one little one little uh, thing see some indication is there some indication is there that the some of uh, one of the rubber um, reels I don't know fully I don't know how to say it it's a little bit of rubber tube that stays on the Cabistan uh, and it acts I will show it on the service manual it's easier and you will see it on the repair because this is just the inspection and we will not change anything in it just clean and uh, clean and lubricate and uh, stuff related to preparing for the re uh, repairs yeah we spray the contacts, we do the stuff. So, from what I see, that's the only problem at the moment. The only problem of this device. Yeah. So, now that um, we finished with the intervention, I want to show you a little about it and then we will um, call it ended because at 15 minutes I have to end I don't want to keep it too long it's just a, so this is a user manual and um, maybe you will ask yourself why a user manual just because yeah look how it was done okay this is beautiful this is beautiful I say it again it's beautiful let's uh, make some yeah it's wonderful made proper design proper tools how to connect it how to put the tape how to operate it everything in more languages even the mm, pen <laughs> and pencil stuff is the same done there everything this is the user manual guys this is the user manual and I will uh, just you know skip it over like wow 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 everything yeah how to record stuff 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 it has an auto program search system yeah so to enable automatic detection of the starting position of each program in a pre-recorded tape wow fast forward super cool stuff cool stuff for the era yeah and the funniest part this is the service manual guys and I want to show you the um, uh, as I promised the um, real that it's uh, it's here it's not uh, difficult this little take a pulley yeah this need to rotate by friction this take up idler which in turn will rotate the axe that's uh, 
gathering tape pulled on by the capstan and pulley yeah so the capstan is here tape is going like this something like this yeah and it has to come here on this part and if this see and this is the pose system it takes this away and if this the tape is going between these two and this roller is going away the tape stays in our case this roller take up the tape it plays it and now because this take up turntable it's called is not rotated by the idler that needs to friction this rubber band that looks like this little thing here yeah that's melted and this is the place uh, where we saw it earlier on the margin that was a black residue there so this is where and we have to intervene mechanically to fix this it, and this defection uh, this problem is generated by time passing yeah by time yeah this conclude uh, this uh, session i will uh, just uh, play again the the video yeah. okay and we will go to this and say thank you for watching stay tuned for the next time don't forget to subscribe and comment and like because subscribing it helps me and helps the channel grow and I can bring a lot of new stuff thank you bye